Hello, our headsets. Frank here, and one big question I keep getting is how do you live stream with your PSVR on YouTube? Well, if you're on a PC, it's fairly simple, but I'm not. I'm a Mac user, so for all you Mac users out there, this one's especially for you. See, Elgato software isn't really up to date on a Mac, and with an inability to see comments, I knew I had to find a better solution. I played around with a couple wires, a couple different setups, and I think I finally found one that works. So, without any further ado, I present how to live stream PSVR on YouTube with an Elgato HD60. First up is a list of all the supplies you will need to accomplish this. It's nothing too crazy, and you might be able to find some of this stuff on Craigslist. I think it goes without saying, but first up, you're gonna need a PS4 and a PSVR. If you still have the original PS4 or a Slim, don't worry, the only difference you're gonna notice is with the resolution. All of this can be accomplished on the older hardware. Next up, you'll need an Elgato HD60. You can purchase one of these at almost any electronics store and look online because I did a price match at Best Buy and saved 20 bucks. You're gonna need a mic. I suggest a USB mic, but if you wanna go the more professional route, you're gonna need something like this to convert the analog audio into digital recording. But if all you plan on doing is live streaming, I just suggest a USB mic. Finally, and this one is optional, you're gonna want a pair of Bluetooth headphones or a set with a really long cord. Bluetooth will lead to a more clean setup, but if you plan on streaming for a long time, charging batteries can be a pain. You could also use a Bluetooth wired speaker, but all of this is really just for the chat comments. So if you don't care about those, you don't need any of this. Lastly, you're gonna need a newer model Mac laptop or desktop computer, and preferably with a built-in webcam. Mine is about three years old now and gets a little sluggish sometimes, but always gets the job done. I'll put a link for all of this in the description, but I always suggest shopping around. All right, so you got everything you need to start live streaming. Now what? I suggest making sure your YouTube account is set up to live stream. I believe we all have the ability to, unless you've gotten some sort of warning from YouTube, but you do need to go to the live streaming section of your creator studio and make sure everything is set up to receive the feed from your encoder. That's the Elgato. Once that's all set up, you'll want to go to my description and click on the link that says Elgato Beta. This will lead you to a Reddit page with a link to download the latest version of Elgato for Mac. It's a beta, but with this version, you can add in GIFs and web links, which can be really fun to play around with. Now that you've got the software, it's time to plug in your Elgato and make sure you get a solid feed. To accomplish this, First, you must go into your PS4 settings and uncheck the box next to Enable HDCP. Then, unplug the HDMI that would typically have been going from your PSVR to the TV and plug this wire into the side of your Elgato that says In. Next, plug the included HDMI wire into the other side of the Elgato and then plug the other end of that one back into your TV. Now, just make sure you plug the USB wire into your computer and you're good to go. Next, it's time to plug in a USB microphone. At this point, all you really need to do is plug it in. I always like to set it as my audio input in the settings menu, but I'm not sure you really need to. I just find that's the easiest way to make sure you have a connection and to initially test your levels. Also, although mine does not, some mics do require you to download a driver so that your computer can initially recognize them. If you bought your second hand, and you can't get connection, just Google to make sure you're not missing any software. Finally, if you want to listen to your comments, it's time to connect your Bluetooth headphone or speaker. Just follow the directions included with your device or look it up on YouTube, and then you're finally ready to launch the Elgato software. Now, the first time I loaded everything up, I was a little intimidated. Don't you worry if you're in the same boat, your boy Frank's here to help you out. First up, you'll want to click on the little hammer option on the device on the right side menu. This will open the settings window, and all you really need to do is set input device to PlayStation 4 and select HD 1080 for your profile, if it hasn't been selected already. That's it, you can play around with everything else later, but for now, just click OK and you'll be back on the main screen. Next thing you want to do is make sure you have audio coming in from the game. It's easy to see. If the bars are moving at all, you should be good to go. 
This is also where you can adjust the final volume of the game audio. So play around with the dial until you get the levels right. It's really just a matter of preference. After that, you wanna make sure your channel is connected. This part is super simple. Just click on the little plus icon, go through the various menus, and bam, you're connected. And you don't need to worry about any URLs or stream keys. This is also the spot where you set your bitrate. If you know you have a solid wire to Wi-Fi connection, then be my guest and set that baby as high as possible. But if you struggle to get a strong signal like me, you're gonna wanna dial that thing down to about 720p. But ask someone to check out your stream when it's up to ensure you have the best settings. Even if you have to dial it back more and compromise on resolution, a steady stream is really what you want. So now that your game is connected and YouTube is connected, all you have left to do is connect your mic. This one is simple as well. Just go down to the live commentary section and on the audio input, go through the drop down menu and select your mic. And then just like with the game, play around with the dial to get your level set. And you're nearly ready to live stream with the PSVR on YouTube. Now, there are tons of options I didn't go over, and there are also tons of videos on YouTube about just those options. If you guys really want me to make a video on how to get all the titles and metadata set up, then let me know in the comments. Otherwise, just make sure you select the scene with a webcam, and make sure you turn your commentary button on, then just hit stream, and you're live on YouTube. Finally, and this part is just for those of you that want to hear comments, all you need to do is open up Chrome or Safari, and I mean those specifically. This will not work with Firefox. Then travel to Speech Chat. It is a web-based multi-chat client with text-to-speech, and it links your live stream chat feed, allowing you to listen to the comments as they come in live. It is also very customizable, allowing you to change exactly what is read and what voice is used, among other things. I really love this program and haven't had any issues. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description. And that's it. I mean, at the most basic level, you could have better lights, better audio, a better face cam, but really that's all up to you. So, did that help you at all? Do you have any tips to make my way even better? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR and you don't mind this ugly mug, friggin' subscribe! Hey, you there. Check out my latest review or my latest weekly update. And if you haven't already, friggin' subscribe! I mean, come on!